I'm Marianne and behind the camera is my husband Will and for the last year and a half we've been on a bit of a mission to create a pretty epic tackle room man cave and today we finally can say that we've completed it. If you haven't checked it out before we've actually done a previous episode of when we first completed the mezzanine but we hadn't done anything upstairs so we did ask for your opinions on what to do upstairs and we've definitely taken a lot of those on board. So once we finish the tour inside, I'm going to bring you back outside and we're going to actually give you a little bit of a sneak peek of our new 17 foot island room. Let's go inside. So let's go inside. Yeah. Here we go guys. Long, long, long time coming. So welcome to our tackle room. So for those of you that are wondering why I'm holding a Soltika 10,000, this year we had the goal to reach 10,000 subs on YouTube and we reached it. So for everybody that's been with us with our journey, massive, massive thanks and thank you so much for all the support. We absolutely appreciate it more than you know. So we wanted to say thank you and we're giving away a Soltiga 10,000, one of our absolute favorite reels, the Daiwa 10,000 Soltiga spinning, if you watch us, you know it's always in the boat. So stick around and we'll show you how to win this bad boy. We're actually gonna put the little boat back right here where we're standing so you guys can get just a little bit of a feel for the space that we've created. So we're gonna start right here downstairs with all the new additions. We're gonna start right in this corner and then we're gonna work our way around and basically give you a rundown of what's been going on downstairs. So start right here. As you can see, it was kind of like an idea that we put together. We've gone with a pallet rack on both sides, drawers down the bottom, cabinet up the top, it looks epic. And that's, that's where all the tools and all the bits and pieces, screwdrivers, um, power tools, everything goes in there. So it's been really good. You just check, everything is like primo quality too, which is awesome. On this side, we've done a set of drawers on each side and then a cabinet in the middle and we've turned it into a bench top. So we've gone to Bunnings, everything come from Bunnings, amazing Bunnings, all this rack here has come from Bunnings. We've put two bench tops either side. You can see there's a bit of a join down the middle here, or a split should I say, and then I've put a join up underneath to keep everything nice and flush. These new additions here have been epic because you can never get enough working space, right? The other really cool thing that we did and as we've gone along, all these cool little ideas have popped up, is we've put rocket launchers out the back here, and we've used this area here as our rigging station. So rods go in here, and leaders get tied up the front here, so you can see each drawer, or top drawer especially, we got all our leaders set up. This is the salt water side, and this side we got all our fresh water stuff, which is wicked. More storage down each side, and then in the center, center cabinet. Oh, sorry, right in that way. Center cabinet basically just uses more storage. We've got a heap of riptides on that side, dive stars, and extra rough rides, all that sort of stuff. So it's absolutely brilliant. It's been best idea ever that we've done here. Nick. And a big reason why we've decided to go with the racket module units. If you've seen the shed before, all the back shelving at the back there, that's all racket. So it all ties in. So we've got, you can see the frame around here so we could build a bench top on top of it. It just, everything just tied in absolutely perfect. And this, this one isn't racket, but this was just a, a workbench from Bunnings. Yeah, this, this stuff is amazing. Absolute quality. And also with the racket stuff, you can actually just sit it on top of each other. So you don't need to get this. You can actually just stack them on top of each you other. You can totally, and from memory, I'm pretty sure that there are sections in here where they've got tap thread, so you can put a bolt straight through. Absolutely. Tap, everything's joined. A couple other new little bits and pieces going on. Down this corner, I don't know if you remember, and if you didn't watch the first shed video, but it's all thanks to you guys and Marianne behind the camera, because I never really wanted to put another uh, wall in there but it's it turned out to be the best thing because now we're calling that our freshwater wall. Well, I just, I wanted to create like a rod room. Oh, it looks <laughs> so good. I've just put the first sheet of teak boarding on, I've got three to go. 
Sound looks sweet. It's come along really good. That's it, complete. That come up absolutely awesome. Wow. Everything fitted the way it was supposed to. Bait casters and some of the lighter um, spinning rods in, in that corner. Uh, on the flip side, on the other side of it, just got even better. Come around here. What actually happened was it ended up being a theme. So we've gone with timber. We've put timber, we've put timber on this wall here and there's a wicked neon sign as you can see up here. But what happened was it started like this and it's transpired up the top. So when we take you up the top, you'll see what we mean. We've got this timber theme going across the ceiling, the bar, everything has been timber and we've, we've kept it, kept the same stain too. So everything's matching, it looks really, really cool. Yeah, for that wall, we actually went to a timber mill and got untreated timber because we really wanted that rustic look yep. for that particular wall. So upstairs, we actually did use treated timber uh, just so it wouldn't bow and stuff on the ceiling but that is untreated just yeah we just love that look and it's turned out so much better than we thought now i reckon we do a quick tour for those that have been with us from the start you'll all know we've done this a few times but for those who are new and want to um, check it out we're going to do a quick quick walk around to the bottom here and then we're going to go upstairs so we'll start over here I can't say too much about this, but I think you all know what that is. So we'll just leave that for a second. All this stuff here on this wall here is all Daiwa. Uh, and some cool new products that have come out too. So uh, just little bits and pieces like these kicker curlies, like, come on. Oh, they're actually available now. They're in shops. Yeah, they are so, so cool. I cannot wait to skip them into the mangroves and stuff like that for Jack's. Pretty pumped. Got current masters, double clutches. Um, hey, Saltiga Rough Rise, is probably the best flats lure ever created. They are lack of, we love them. Dive stars, and we break into the braid, and then we break into all the little nomad stuff. Uh, I'm not too sure, but check this guy out. Genuine. We manage to get our hands on this guy. Check that out for a soft plastic squid. It is ridiculous. Six That's 600 grams. Grand. 600 grams, guys. That is insane. I cannot wait. That they designed for deep dropping, deep dropping. But I have a hunch. And um, a big red might be on that hunch. So I cannot wait to get back out and drop so that. Those, I believe, are going to be in store in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah, and then we just break through, we got mad scads and all the cool stuff, poppers, big, big riptides. In this corner over here, well this cabinet, that's just basically bits and pieces. We got deep dropping stuff right down at the bottom. Well, flat stuff and then anything that comes off the rods from trips out wide, that sort of thing. We basically just chop stuff off, put it on the shelves, get it ready to go for the next trip so we're not using new stuff the whole time. We do use the old lures. And we created this space here just to be able to re-rig hooks and that. So we've actually got all of our tools on a little pegboard there. So you can see scissors, pliers, all that jazz. This wall is basically all our slow jigging and um, we have a couple deep drop reels there, that sort of thing, tanacombs. Slow pitch jigging reels. These are my favorite. The Saltika 35 ends, gold. We've got all our spinning flats gear stuff, all beautiful saltigas on that wall over here. And then coming around to this corner over here, we got, like we said earlier, we've got all our fresh water stuff. And one of the only custom jobs that we've had really in the in the shed was this little bad boy here. That was from Steve. Big shout out to Steve from All Metal Solutions. Absolute legend to deal with and just absolute fitted perfect. It is literally. Nailed it. Possibly the only thing that we haven't done is that set of stairs. Uh, it's been a big job. We've had so much fun. This has been like our, this project's been like our baby for the last two years. We're very, very high. For those of you that haven't seen the first, this right here, epoxy. The floor is epoxy painted. Again, from Bunnings, cost us like 500 bucks to do the whole floor. We did it ourselves and it just absolutely came out incredible. 
been a lot of hard work, but totally worth it because we just we live for this. We love it. We've said it before. 2024, it's going to be awesome. The new boat, cannot wait to get that out. We've got plans to, to head up back up to Hinchy. We haven't been up to Hinchy for a little bit. At least one episode a month, that's our plan. 2024. But for now, let's go upstairs. I want to show you guys upstairs because it's been a lot of hard work. So let's go up. Here it is guys, check it out. Amazing, right? It's been a lot of hard work and we're very, very proud of what we've done up here. Absolutely unreal. So, as you can see, that there is very unique and very cool. That's my bar. But we gotta find a spot to start, so Let's I'm start thinking over here. I'm thinking we'll start over here and we'll work our way over there. So what's changed since the last video? A lot. Basically, we've painted everything, we've plied everything, we've uh, vinyl planked the floor, and we've put trims the whole way around. Pretty well 90% of the stuff has come from bunnies. In this corner, we put a little leather, leather, leather lounge with white stitching. Obviously, we've got plans to put the aircon in that corner. And then we still want wall space for mounts and stuff like that. So it's all in the making, but we, we, we're almost there. So I made a custom coffee table. So as you can see, that's a map of the Great Barrier Reef and a section of the Great Barrier Reef that we fish. We love, we love it out there. That's the shelf. So. When we can get out there, this is a, this is the zone. We'll come sit. We'll talk about what we want to do, where we want to go. We can have a bit of coffee, a drink, whatever, beer, whatever you want to do. The floor. The floor is vinyl planking, so you would not believe it, but we kept an eye on the sales and all that sort of stuff from Bunnings. And just so happened, I walked in there one day. This stuff was on clearance, and I was like, Oh my God, you're kidding. You will not believe it, but to do this whole floor space, which is eight meters by four meters, was $170. That is all the cost. We got a, we were lucky enough, we got, got a glue from one of our mates, but the planking, we purchased planking $170 and just the labor, the time that it took us to lay all the stuff. There was just basically like a pallet of planks that were on clearance and it was like the perfect amount for up perfect here. Amount. Like we couldn't believe it. And and it wasn't a color that we were actually thinking about. We we're thinking about more of a wood grain, but we're way happier with this because it goes so well with the wood. We spoke about that wall, that, that, ta that wall that's got that neon tackle room sign on it. And we're like, oh, we should try and turn that into a theme upstairs. And Marianne was like, oh, I want to do this between the Z pearlins up. And I'm like, oh no, it's going to be too much work. <laughs> totally. Cause it, yeah, it's exhausting, right? It's been a lot of hard work. We are literally on the home stretch, baby. And it is looking sick. This is so looking sick. so good. Full blackout with timber. So That's with these, with the, because obviously we've got it all insulated upstairs, so we'll end up putting battens straight across here. So he's actually screwed in from one side here and then screwed in from the other side here. And then he's put battens straight across. And then we've obviously nail gunned the fence piles onto the batten. The lights, the neon lights, how freaking cool are these? I think we were flicking through socials and we come into someone's garage and they had the hexagon lights hanging down and we got a measurement we're like, oh, they're not going to work because they're too wide. And in the end, we're like, oh, what are the options? Turns out they made different brackets. So we've gone with the square shape lights and turn them into like a triangle sort of a style. Diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, and wow. They came out so much better than we thought, eh? Really. Down in the center here, that last little bit, kind of wrecking our brains of what we could do with it. And in the end, I'm like, oh, imagine we could hang, because we, we always wanted to put fishing lures here, up here, um, somewhere or another. In the end, we came up with this idea where we got panels, um, pegboard panels and sort of, hung them up the top there and as a result not only did we end up with like a row of lures 
looking down the future, like I just wanna wanna be able to just keep hanging lures. So <laughs> if you're a custom lure builder and you wanna send us some lures, hey. <laughs> The shame. Because we, we eventually we just want to end up with hundreds of lures up there. I'm pretty sure it was put in the comments. Someone said, oh, use a bait for a bar. You have to have a bar. So it was a bar, but then we like, we took it one step further and like literally took a chainsaw to an old boat. And don't forget guys, if you're looking back in history, this is where it all started. This is how it all started right here. You know, 200 years ago, this is this is how they did it back in the day. Managed to track down this old hand-built boat. Was a struggle to get it from the bloke because it was sentimental to him. And I said to him, it's going to a special home. Stripped it down, sanded it back, and repainted it. And it looks epic. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. We came up with that idea of hanging it over. So when you're downstairs, you look up, there's a freaking boat hanging over the balcony. Um, I custom built all this, it has that same sort of effect that we have up here. We've gone with the fence panels down below, and I've just chopped it, turned it into a bit of a stand. It's wicked, it's so cool. Hey, couple cold ones, have a yarn, have a look at the fish. Nothing get you more excited than standing right here, getting ready for the next day to head out to the reef. So, super, super stoked with it. I put the Great Northern, I put a little Great Northern fridge. So I put a floating shelf, so basically just a three galvanized brackets. Two on that side hanging off here, so it gives it the strength, and then one at the back. That's floating shelf. Put a little switchboard beside it. So as you can see, you go in here. Got a few beers in there. <laughs> How can you not? But yeah, that's awesome. I come up so good. Out the back here, you can see my hat rack. Just continued on with that timber style effect behind Marianne there yeah big thanks, thanks to, to those guys for supplying those for the shed absolute legends we definitely love the support from everybody and um yeah we go with what we trust okay and then if you look over the balcony here that's where it's at right there So for those of you that's been following us, you would know in October 2022, we took ownership of our new Sportsman 232 Open. We have been extremely impressed with this boat since the day that we got it. So it was really a no brainer to upgrade our small boat to another Sportsman. So I'm gonna get Will now on the camera and he's gonna give you a tour of the small boat. Pretty unique one, this one. We wanted the cyclone style because we've got all that extra room down the side for what we wanna be doing with in the mangroves side casting, all that extra space, double swag, it's gonna be perfect for us. It's on a single axle savage trailer. You can see. Fully galvanized. Got bunks, carpeted bunks underneath, so it's, it's great to drive on and off. It's been really, really easy. We've only had it out a couple of times, but it's been pretty easy so far. Out the back, we've got a stack here. And two trim tabs, which have been incredible. We got a 12 inch Garmin on the dash. It's got everything you need down the side there. We got wash down, nav lights, bilge pump, um, aerator for the live bait tank, and then that accessory switch, which we'll probably end up using for a light bar or something down the track. I think we're going to end up putting lights at the back here. So that will be the switch for the oh, yes. lights, the blue lights. Squid lights at the back, definitely. Got the grab rail on the console. And down the side here, we got all this stuff from GFAB. So we're running the new live system on the front of it. And we've got a 16 inch mounted up the front. So I'll jump on the boat in a second. I'll show you what that all looks like. But that's the outside of the boat done. Spare tire, beautiful riding boat. We're very, very happy. I'll jump up from here real quick. We're running a 115 Yami four stroke. Very happy with it. Great fuel economy so far. Um, do a turnaround. The seats are wicked. We got a little like cutty hole in here. Stick your finger in there and all your wiring's under there. So it's all hidden, concealed and dry storage. 
quad lock system on the front there for the phone. Um, couple cup holders up the front here. Can't can never have enough cup holders. We got another two on the sides, and then up the front here, just in there, we're gonna store the lithium batteries for the electric motor. Got more rod holders on the side, and then down the back, which I didn't show you before. Up the front, in here, we got dry storage. That's a black box for the live, and then isolator as well, just to make sure that if we're ever going offshore, we can unplug everything, pull those leads out, and um, we can leave that one behind. GFAB have got some unreal stuff. They have been very, very good. So that's how I've set it up in the install that mount is unreal absolutely unreal uh, can't wait to get into the the live game done a little bit of it now and blown away so looking forward to getting back out there and getting stuck into it we got a few things planned for this boat that we're not going to say just yet but we're very excited to get it happening very soon so that's it would not have gone with the center console the side console is the boat for us oh this is ideal for us so our thoughts behind the side console as well is that we can actually pop this seat out and we can lay a double swag in there so overnight island trips more room too for each of us as well so this is absolutely ideal for what we do and what we want to do with it totally and like cup holders on the gunnels like come on this is this <laughs> is luxury nice yeah something i did skip was in the back here i'll just open them up but on both sides we got storage deep storage got a towel in there um that also turns into an aerator for a live bait tank so the other side is completely dry as well but yeah got another isolator in there that's about it I reckon and we're very happy and we've got some cool plans for this boat so next time you see it you might not actually recognize it but for now what do you reckon we go back in and we sort out that giveaway absolutely. for the Saltiga? oh yes okay the giveaway absolutely okay let's go do that eh? thanks for watching guys now for your chance to win this like comment and subscribe so you have to be subscribed to the channel Comment below on your Instagram or Facebook handle so we can direct message you and you might want to comment a sneaky little fish you're going to target on this as well and uh, like the video. So I'll leave um, all those details in the description below but uh, for everyone watching us, for everyone that's been around following us from the beginning, thank you. We much appreciate it. This is a big thanks to you guys and um, catch you around.